Okay, whenever you're ready, it's running. Roll tape. <laughs> oh. These nuts have been in the dehydrator for two days. And all you have to do now is just keep them cool and dark. And it's best if you can put them in the refrigerator, but if you can't put them all in the refrigerator, then at least take the walnuts and put them in the refrigerator because they have oils that are a little more delicate and more likely to go rancid. And I have, when they don't fill up the jar, I put them in another jar and I just call it these my mixed nut jar. And this one, as you can see, has already been eaten. They were so delicious just out of the dehydrator. My husband, the cameraman, couldn't resist. So, uh, anyway. so we're uh, going to put these in the jar now. So you just, a little trick, you just put them all together in the middle. you got to make sure that they all roll around here. And then you take the mesh, make a little tunnel, make a funnel out of it, and then just pour it in. And put the lid on it. Put it in the refrigerator. That's it. Now, a little story for you. My grandmother, my great-grandmother actually, used to dehydrate figs in the sun. They didn't have dehydrators back then. So she just used sheets. She put the figs on top of a sheet and put a sheet on top of that, left it out in the sun until they were dry. When they were dry, she put them in a flower sack, which she hung on the clothesline. And as people went by, they would bat it to keep the air circulating in it. And then she would have figs for the rest of the year until the next season. But a dehydrator is really easier and more efficient. So. I did a web search on dehydrators and I was happy to see that my Excalibur is still one of the favorites, one of the two favorites in the site I went to. I have a nine tray with the timer and it's $260 and without the timer it's $230. I find the timer is not a, an issue, I, I mean I don't want to go away and come back and it's off because we're at the beach and it's humid here. and. I want to be here and turn it off and then get it in the jars as quickly as possible so that it doesn't re get moisture back into the nuts. So for $230 you could get the 9 tray, 600 watt, and they also make a 5 tray for $199 and a 4 tray for $120. However, on the website they showed another favorite was a Nesco and that's a 700 watt. The Excalibur was 600 watts, so you've got more wattage, and it's only $56. And then they make another one, a 400 watt, for $36. Now, I'm not a dehydrator expert, and I don't know if they have the settings, but it's the most important thing is to make sure that they have low enough settings that you won't denature the enzymes. But in any case, so these at these prices, you can even get them half the price probably on the internet because people buy them. I can't imagine it. They don't use them, but sometimes they'll use them once and just put them in a drawer. They put them in a cupboard and so you can get a very good price on them. And it's going to save you a lot of money because what you want to do is buy your produce when it's in season. It's fresh, it's tastier, and it's less expensive. And then you can preserve it for the whole season so that you, you don't run out and you always have fresh produce. Now I'm going to have this information on the web website. I'll explain the recipe and how this is done and I'm also going to put the uh, dehydrator information that I have on the website and the community can contribute their own experience with dehydrators. Thank you for listening.